So, what are we going to see tonight? A romance, a drama, or an adventure? Well, a bit of all of them. Okay, let's see them. Our skin is a marvel. It is the natural dress of our body. It is wind and water resistant. It tells us when we are cold or sweating and our skin protects us from diseases. No viruses or bacteria can penetrate through healthy and intact skin. But we also have another type of skin, the mucous membrane that is in the eyes, in the nose, in the mouth, inside the anus, in the vagina, and on the glands of the penis. It is actually the regions of our body that are wet. Through this skin, sexually transmitted infections can be spread. They are also called STIs. Three of the most well-known STIs are chlamydia, gonorrhea, and human papillomavirus. They are either bacteria or viruses. Let's take a closer look at how an STI is transmitted. When a person has an STI, the bacteria or viruses are in the mucous membrane. This person may not even realize that they are a carrier of an STI. If this person has unprotected sexual contact with a non-infected person, the bacteria or viruses can slip through the mucous membrane of the other person. Not so cool, actually. But wait, you can protect yourself against it. A condom is like a second skin that protects against transmission. Use it before any penetration if you want to be on the safe side. This also includes penetration of the anus and the mouth. A transmission is also possible via immediate indirect contact with your finger or a sex toy, for example. Therefore, be careful with indirect touch and always use a condom with a sex toy. So if you have a risky situation or you're not sure, please take an STI test. It's for you and your sexual partner's safety. And please wash your hands after taking off the condom. All right? Stay safe and healthy. Have you ever experienced an STI? Yes, I have. I was too shy to insist on a condom with a sex partner that I had before. But weren't you on hormonal contraception? Yes, I was. But this doesn't protect you from an STI. Only from pregnancy. Right. And then? I felt embarrassed and angry at the same time. I had to go to the doctor and take medication. Thank goodness I'm healthy again. I had the same experience. I thought it would spoil the fun mentioning a condom, and I did not have one with me either. I'm glad we can talk so openly. If I could turn the clock back, I would tell this guy, either safe sex or no sex. And I would just unroll the condom over my Johnny. By the way, is your Johnny in the mood for a little splish splash? Yes, I think so. How about you, my dear? Find out. <laughs>